Hey Shooters, this is Robin Taylor at Taylor Freelance and I'm here to educate you a little bit on a quirky difference between early model Mete rivals and later model Mete rivals. Um, the, when the Mete rival first came out, it had an unusually large uh, magazine well opening, even larger than what you have what's on the current 2024 guns. As a result of that, the, all of the base pads that we made for the original TP9, which I have here on my right, would overpenetrate slightly in the Mete's and rifles, enough that the top of the magazine would stick up through the top of the through the tops of the magazine opening slightly and present super high, enough to block the slide from coming forward in some cases. Didn't happen all the time, so it was one of those recurring oddball problems that just drove people nuts. To fix that, we produced the Mete rival line of base pads. Um, thinking that this would be the ongoing standard for mechanic going forward. These have unusually tall shoulders that prevent the, the magazine from going as high into the gun. And they only work on the 2021 to 23 guns. Um, in 2020, end of 23, beginning of 2024, I think Canik realized there might be an issue there. And they shrunk the base pet, the magwell opening gun just slightly, which stops that over penetration issue. And that, so now everybody's, and now all the previous stuff works. So now we can take one of our, this is our new Toolist model, which is designed for the TP9 and the new Mete Rivals. And it goes to right where it needs to go and stops, bottoms out on the frame. If I put this same base pad into a 21 to 23 Mete Rival, like this Rival S here, there's a bit more top to bottom shake going on. This particular magazine won't block the slide, but you can tell there's a lot more looseness in the fit. If you happen to have a 21 to 23 Rival S or something like that, the easiest way to go is the bush fix that, pe that the Kent community figured out. And that's to run down to the hardware store and buy yourself a, a one inch by one eighth inch O-ring. Put the O-ring on the base bed like it's a bumper. Slide it down onto the, to the top there. And then that will go into your 2123 and take up all the excess space. It won't go into a normal TP9. See, just to illustrate the difference in the in the in the available height, they can get it into this one, and they can't get it into this one. I'm not even pushing the button. So it's a bush fix. If you've got a 21 to 20 23 rival, it works surprisingly well.